Oh, hello everyone. Uh, yeah, something different this time then. Uh, flick through a uh, cube magazine, obviously for the GameCube. And this, as you can see, is a collector's edition. Uh, it did come with a poster as well, I believe, which that's been uh, lost to the mist of time, I think you can say. So, Metro Prime on the cover, and Metro Prime on the back. A few screens, I'm sure you're all aware of this game. Long run series. Um, yeah, I always see Metro Prime as a a bit like a 3D Turrican, which never came along. Although a 3D Turrican was planned. So, Q Magazine then. This dates from the start of 2003. So that's already over 10 years old. Unofficial product. The UK's uh, best GameCube magazine. Not best selling necessarily, but best magazine. So you've got F-Zero in this. Extreme G, Racing Association. Uh, it's an exclusive preview. Metroid Prime, of course. Hitman 2. Over here. Classic Shooter, Ikaruga, Win 11.6, which is an import, Dakar 2, Beautiful Joe, and you can see down the bottom there, there we go, £3.50 at the time. Um, a lot of these magazines did come with discs, GameCube little discs, because they were little discs, weren't they? Uh, I'm assuming this one didn't actually, because it's a collector's edition, I might be wrong, I can't remember now. So, inside the mag then, there we go, Zelda on its way, a link to the past, that's for the Game Boy Advance. This magazine also covered the Game Boy Advance in a little bit of detail and the DS as it come along. Welcome. Contents. Pretty much what we saw on the front cover. Uh, yeah. Unofficial, 100% unbiased. The only magazine you can trust, which sort of reminded me of Amiga Power in a way. I loved Amiga Power back in the day, as we often seem to say. Contents then, up front. GameCube news, GCN that is, previews, in-depth, look at the games that are coming along, reviews. Now, Cube Magazine, or actually GameCube in general rather, didn't have a lot of games for it compared to the PS2. It was lately coming and a lot of parties didn't support it so much. But there's a few reviews in this one, it's actually quite a decent issue. Uh, the advanced feature at the bottom there. And a couple of features which we'll uh, quickly flick, uh, flick through. So up front then, games that are along the way, on the way rather, Beautiful Joe. And a little side here, it says a bit of information. So from Capcom, Players 1, percentage complete, there you go, it's over 75% complete at the time. And it tells you a little bit more, and at the bottom there, you can see the flags and the release dates. Always comes out first in Japan, doesn't it? Just about always. And, well Japan in general had more games for the GameCube, and most systems for that matter, PS2, Dreamcast, you name it, often got more games. Beautiful Joe then, sort of a side scrolling beater, which can uh, fast and slow motion attacks. Also a second one. Moving on, Starcraft Ghost. Now I'm almost definite this never came out in the end. A lot of games never made it to the GameCube, and a lot of games got uh, halted, if you like, in production. This, uh, I'm afraid no Ghost. This uh, is definitely one of them, I'm pretty sure. So there, it was definitely due. Uh, it was long way from being complete at the time. Um, unless you come out of something else, which I'm not aware of. I'm not uh, overly versed, if you like, with everything. So GameCube news then. Hello, Modor. Instant glance, tells you what's going on. Including the charts, which we'll have a look at in a little while. Uh, there we go, Zelda. Moving on, quite an interesting bit here. Unity is another game I'm pretty definite didn't show up. Maybe I should have uh, done a bit of a check in before making this video. This is from Jeff Minter, uh, well known for his Llama Soft label, Attack of the Mutant Camels, Tempest game on the Atari Jaguar, for example, among, among other things. And it says here how much he liked the GameCube program on it. Whether he actually completed anything on it, I'm not sure, compared to the PS2 and the Xbox, or Oxbox as he calls it on here. So there we go. Fantasy Star, uh, uh, Fantasy Star Online 1 and 2. The next one also made it to the GameCube. Uh, a whole lot of mangled metal. And this is Crash and Burn. This is uh, Burnout 2 on its way. And it also says, although PS2 version was released uh, six months before, the GameCube version should leave the PS2 original eating dust. 
with a range of enhancements. First up is a better polygon count, stuff like that. Extra um, crash junctions, there were. If you play Burnout 2, you know it's a fantastic game on the PS2, and no doubt on the GameCube as well. Uh, into the arena, Sega Sports. Usual bicycle hockey and American football. Okay, moving on. Uh, GameCube uh, voucher for game runs out in April 2003. That's a shame. Uh, internet. Moving on. Now this is good. This is one thing I did like about Cube Magazine. The UK release list. Now you can guarantee, you should be able to just about work out all them games there. You can guarantee at least five of them probably never made it. Uh, as was the case. Also got the Japan and US uh, release dates. And a few Cube recommends. Metroid Prime, Resident Evil Zero. I think there's about five uh, Resident Evil games in the end for the GameCube. Mario Golf is a bit like uh, Everybody's Golf. You ever played that one? If you've not played Mario. And the charts over here. There we go, Mortal Kombat, player number one. Uh, some good games in there. A couple of uh, so so games too. <coughs> Developer Diary. Is that another sort of spin that thing before? Hothead Studios. Don't really know much about them to be honest. Here's an interesting thing. What ever happened to? Cube looks at mysterious cube related disappearances and Colin McRae Rally was due to come out in the cube, never did. It's a Codemasters publicity stunt. Or is it something else? Who knows? Metroid Prime pack for GameCube. Nice uh, edition if you can get it. Go for a fair bit of money actually, these special edition GameCubes. So Back from the Future is like a, a feature, it's not um, anything that's true. Go too much in detail there. Shows them um, up here a GameCube HD, which never happened. Lost in Space, and this is all about Metroid, all the Metroid games. So it shows them all. Metroid Prime, and there for the GameCube, which is reviewed in this issue. Over here, Metroid Fusion for the Game Boy Advance 2002. Here's the original one for the NES. Never played the earlier ones, as we know. Female character, don't we? We all know that. Metroid uh, 2 and Super Metroid. Yeah, never played the early ones. Like I said earlier, feels like a 3D Turrican to me. Alright, uh, over 75% complete, uh, percent complete there. F0. Uh, yeah, a bit like Wipeout, I suppose you could say. Obviously, um, F0 is a game in its own right. Come out and sneeze first, isn't it? The update is pretty good. Red Faction 2. Not played that one. I have played Harvest Moon and it's one of them games but you need a day on it to be honest. Nearly complete there, you can see. It's a good fun game but like I say you need plenty of time to uh, get into a game like that. ISS3. I only played FIFA 2003 on the GameCube. It's the only football game I played. Conflict Desert Storm, it's okay. Not amazing, but it's okay. RTX Red Rock on its way. As you can see, it's fairly uh, close to completion. Bit of a Star Wars influence, apparently. The Gladius. I have Gladius. I'm not sure I've ever showed it in a pickups video. Uh, it's okay. It's nothing special, in my view. <coughs> and Hulk. The interesting thing about Hulk, although I didn't go much on the uh, comic hero games and stuff like that, Hulk is using a version of Dark Angel engine, which is average at best. And a Dark Angel game, which I really, I actually quite enjoyed it back in the back in the day, as we say, back on the PS2, this was. Uh, I quite enjoyed the game. I nearly finished it actually, but um, that was it. All right, uh, dodgy looking baby there. Yeah, it's Resident Evil Zero. Here we go. There's one game I think everyone should play. Big mother truckers. <laughs> Race your lorry, city to city, against other lorries. Stop the bikers from um, plundering your, your uh, lorry if you like. And avoid the police. Loads of different radio stations, which are quite funny for a while. But obviously, there's only so many songs in each one. Uh, definitely, uh, 
definitely recommended. Get it for a couple of quid. Sequel as well. Sonic Mega Collection. Q previews carrying on. Hitman 2, Silent Assassin. I'm sure most of you are aware of that. Uh, this is about a freeloader. Quite interesting because you definitely need a freeloader for your GameCube to get the best games. Uh, obviously a lot more come out in America as well compared to the PAL regions. Alright, Cuban Death XGRA. This is another... I think I got this. I'm not sure which system I got it for. But this is a uh, super fast 3D bike racer. Again, it's similar to a uh, Wipeout if you ask me. I mean, look at that screen there. You can see uh, if like an influence, although it's different. And it goes on. <clears throat> Decent game. GameCube solved. Uh, a fairly short-lived uh, Cube Solutions magazine. Issue 7, so got to at least half a year. Action replay. They've been going for a long time. In various forms. Okay then, Cube reviews. A bit like, a, again, if you like, I'll say that. I don't know, obviously, perhaps quite a few magazines done it, but similar to Amiga Power. And uh, there you go, there's the staff. There's the games that are reviewed. What does it all mean? It explains it in the breakdown. See, so the only review you can trust. Cube Star Game, Metroid Prime, and yeah, no doubt about that, really, is there? It's one of the Star Games for the system. There's the breakdown, the uh, cube verdict. There we go, 9.6. Pretty good then. Now oh, this is an import, it says at the top there. Uh, 111.6. Um, obviously, but known differently on the PS2 and Xbox, or at least PS2, so you can only play this through import, I think. I don't think you get a power release. It says it there, actually. There we go, not in America, not in England. Power regions. And there we go, 9.2 in that one. Sometimes does a second opinion as well. Here we go then. The uh, pretty impressive Ikaruga. Uh, obviously, kind of relationship to this is there, layer section. Yeah, we, I think we know about this one, don't we? Do have this for a couple of systems, including the Dreamcast, so big bosses, excellent. There we go. 9 out of 10. Rally Championship. Now, I actually quite like this game. Um, does look pretty decent. Uh, I did a video of this quite a while ago. Thousands of views, actually, it's quite surprising. Only got 6.8, but as it says, with Dakar 2 on the shelves, it's hard to recommend this to anyone. Well, it's up to you, I suppose, isn't it? Dr. Me Too, a bit of an odd game, don't know too much about it. Only got 5 out of 10. There you go, here's Dakar 2, Cube Star game. I like this one. Ten. A couple of games, small well, not smaller games, just small reviews. Not a fan of basketball and throw. Uh summoner a goddess reborn. Could have been better, I think you could say. Defender, obviously an update, come out in quite a few systems, so I'm pretty sure you're aware of this. Uh, 3D update wasn't really and didn't really work. Not played it actually, but it didn't look like it was going to work to be honest. Another import game, Puzzle Collection. Quite enjoyable then, 7, not too bad. Cracks up there. Here's a game I'd definitely I'd almost recommend as well, Mr. Driller in Drill Land. I have this for the uh, Dreamcast actually. Uh, it's a great game, really uh, good fun. 8.8, they like it. Cool, remember these? This shows how far people advanced, doesn't it? Phones and stuff. Small little logos to have on your phone instead of, well, you can put anything on there now, can't you? They're like mini laptops, of course. Network cubes, like a viewpoint. Uh, I think it has the uh, solution section in here. Yeah. Viewpoint is the uh, letters page. 
An interesting thing with Cube Magazine, I'm not sure if it happens with other magazines, perhaps one of you can tell me. You can text Cube Magazine, your question, and uh, it could appear down here for an answer. I actually text them a question regarding a game called Fornado, which was due to come out on the GameCube, which was basically a 3D Turrican. It's from the same company, and uh, well, it never made it. Apparently, it's going to come out on the next system, but it didn't make it. Uh, readers put their reviews in compared to what Cube Magazine thought. Beat the team. Cheating monkeys. More combat help. Resident Evil Zero, a complete walkthrough. A few pages worth there. Had a Game Boy Advance session, uh, session, section. Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. Online. <clears throat> Getting near the back now, so you get loads of uh, adverts, don't we? There we go. All this stuff's out of date now, of course. And right near the back. Uh, the directory, a complete guide to every game reviewed by Cube since time began. Well, each section, then each type of game, adventures, RPGs, and the best ones are at the top. So, Legend of Zelda at the top there, for example. Skies of Arcadia. Beat 'em up section. Puzzles, platform, racing, shoot 'em ups, and sports. There we go. Now, actually, yeah, there's top 10 games for the GameCube here, according to Cube Magazine. So, Zelda, Metroid Prime, Time Splitters 2, Star Fox Adventures, Super Mario Sunshine, Tunnel of Darkness, Resident Evil, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, Super Monkey Ball, and Aggressive in 9. 9.1 for that. Next month includes the uh, review of Burnout 2, should be out. So, there we go. That is pretty much it. The evolution of games, back issues, more adverts. Subscribe, didn't. Love Nintendo, well, I don't mind it. For cheats, you can actually text in or ring up for cheats. Never did that. I'm back, Super Monkey Ball 2 on the way. So there we go, guys. Uh, just a quick flick through Q Magazine. Something different. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed the magazine, so I enjoyed the cube. Uh, just all short lived, wasn't it, really? The underdog. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.